The KAT project has officially released the beta version of KAT Plasma 6.6, and this update brings a long list of meaningful improvements across performance, visuals, accessibility, and system integration. KAT Plasma 6.6 introduces a brand new Plasma Login Manager, marking a major step forward in how users interact with the desktop right from the login stream. Screenshot Tool Spectacle now gains built-in OCR support, allowing users to extract text directly from images. One of the most technical but impactful upgrades is support for per DRM plane color pipelines, improving color accuracy and display handling. For users running newer kernels, Plasma 6.6 also allows global screen sharpness adjustment, giving finer control over how content looks on high-resolution displays. Window management also gets a boost with XRender emulation and KWIN, improving compatibility with applications that still rely on legacy display handling methods. Alongside this, Plasma now supports automatic brightness adjustment on devices equipped with ambient light sensors. Networking and sandboxed app support see major improvements. KDE Plasma 6.6 adds a USB portal, allowing sandboxed applications to safely request USB device access. Wi-Fi passwords are now stored globally in a secure, rotund location, and sharing Wi-Fi networks via QR codes is easier than ever. Screen mirroring has also been refined for better reliability. Accessibility is another big focus in this release. Plasma 6.6 improves colorblind user support, introduces slow keys in the Wayland session, and enhances cross-application activation behavior on Wayland, making the desktop more inclusive and responsive. Customization and proactivity also benefit from this update. Users can now save current visual settings as a new global team, making it easier to switch setups. Battery handling on laptops has been improved, and support for HDR in Windows games, when emulated through compatibility layers, has been enhanced. Behind the scenes, KDA Plasma 6.6 adds support for the OO7 secret service provider and delivers refinements across core components like system settings, the Plasma panel, kickoff application menu, Bluetooth tools, battery widgets, and weather widgets. The stable release of KDA Plasma 6.6 is scheduled for February 17, 2026. Until then, the beta is available for testing on developer or unstable builds of OpenSUSE Tumbleweed and KDA Neon. Keep in mind, this is a pre-release version, so it's meant for testing and feedback, not production systems. If you want to experience the future of KDA early and help improve it, Plasma 6.6 beta is ready to explore.